Hello everyone and welcome to another BI Consulting Services video. My name is Brad and today I am very excited to bring you some of the new updates that Power BI brought us in May, including the Fabric and Copilot announcements. Let's take a look. On May 23rd, Microsoft introduced Fabric, which they are billing as an end-to-end -end unified analytics platform, bringing together all the data and analytics tools that organizations need. So what does this actually mean? In brief, Microsoft Fabric is a unified data analytics platform that unites many disparate services like data engineering, data security, and data discovery into one spot through a data hub known as OneLake. OneLake is a single unified logical data lake for your whole organization, where data is integrated and stored in one format and one copy that can be accessed by teams across the entire organization for machine learning modeling, building reports in Power BI, and running SQL queries alike. Through a concept known as shortcuts, you'll be able to access all your disparate data sources in one location, no matter what service that data originates from, be it Azure, AWS, or any other cloud service, without having to migrate it over. For anyone who spent hours chasing down data source credentials and transforming data models to be compatible with each other, this is a game changer. OneLake will also be accessible through File Explorer, similar to the OneDrive experience. You'll now be able to access files from and upload files to OneLake with just a couple clicks. Now, in addition to Fabric, Microsoft announced that Copilot will be integrated into Power BI. If you're unfamiliar with Copilot, think of a chat GPT-like format, where you type in a question or request regarding your data, and Copilot will respond by automatically building visuals and providing insights right in your report. You'll also be able to create measures and write DAX through natural language queries, which is something that has been featured through Power BI's Quick Measure Suggestion tool. Now, even though you'll still need to have a thorough understanding of the underlying data sets, Copilot should really help add efficiencies to analysts building reports and open up new avenues of communicating and illustrating metrics and insights. There will be lots more coming over the next several months as Fabric and Copilot shift out of the private preview experience. So stay tuned. Since the on-object interaction was released to preview in March, Microsoft has made some updates based on user feedback. In tables, you can more quickly format column headers by clicking into format mode and making your adjustments here. You can also add conditional formatting to columns more easily and use direct text edit to format your totals row. In pie and donut charts, you can now easily customize the color of a slice by clicking in and adjusting the fill color. You can also easily change the labels based on your liking. And finally, the aggregation selection has been added to the data quick format menu here, so you can more easily change out aggregation types. Previously, in order to make data model changes and even some formatting changes in published reports, you were required to download the report from Power BI service, make your edits, and republish. Now you can make changes and refresh right in your browser by opening the report in Power BI service and clicking into Open Data Model. For example, we can see the stacked area chart seems to have an issue with its output. If we open the data model, we can see that there's a missing connection between our date and fact tables. If we make this connection and head back to refresh our report, we can see the data model edit go into effect in our chart updates. You're also able to add new columns and measures within the browser data model view and refresh the report to make those changes. If you're like me, you've been recently seeing this introducing the Azure Map Visual notification every time you open up a report in desktop. With Azure Maps moving from preview to generally available, you can now take advantage of the upgraded location name fields, pie chart layers, field map layers, and more. If we quickly take a look at the style changes Microsoft shows in these visuals, we immediately notice the upgraded details and depth Azure Maps provides. This is a visual that Microsoft will continue to improve and update over time. That's it for now. As I mentioned earlier, we'll be finding out much more about the Fabric and Copilot integrations over the coming months, so keep your ears open. 
As always, if you have any questions about this content or would like the Bix team to cover a topic in a future video, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from our channel, and thanks for watching.